Welcome to Independence Journey. In this video, I'll show you how to transfer funds to and from Binance using Paytree in Canada. Paytree allows us to buy and sell stable coins in Canada. And Paytree has been working best for me to move Canadian dollars to and from Binance. I'll go through each step in depositing fund and also in withdrawing fund. I log into Paytree. By the way, after watching this video, if you like Paytree and want to sign up, you can do so by using my referral link that I will leave in the description of this video. After logging in, you see this screen, Buy Stable Coins menu, Sell Stable Coins menu. Buy Stable Coins menu is used to deposit fund to Binance. And the sell stable coins menu is used to withdraw fund from Binance. Let's start from depositing fund. The first step is to enter the amount of stable coins you want to buy and click swap. Before I enter the amount here, I think this is a good time for me to talk about another app that's similar to Paytree. There is an app called Newton that's also a good app for transferring fund to and from Binance. So if the amount is less than $625, Newton is cheaper. But if the amount is greater than $625, Paytree is cheaper. I usually move uh, more than $625, so I'm using Paytree. And for me, to be honest, the sign-up process for Newton didn't go very well. The Newton system wasn't able to verify my identity, so I was asked to do the manual validation. I didn't bother doing it. Anyway, let's continue the step to deposit Canadian dollars to Binance using Paytree. So let's say I want to move 700 Canadian dollars. Now I need to select the stable coin I want to buy. I frequently use USDT and there are two options for USDT. If you choose this regular USDT, you need to pay the gas fee. However, if you select USDTB, which uses BEP20 network, there is no gas fee. So I always use USDTB instead of regular USDT. And I'll click swap. Then the next step is to copy and paste your Ethereum or stablecoin wallet address into the provided input box. This box is pre-populated for me because I have used uh, this Paytree service before. So I'm just masking my Binance BEP20 deposit address. Now I'll show you how you can get your Binance BEP20 deposit address. You need to log into your Binance account and go to Fiat and Spot Wallet. Find the USDT and click Deposit. You'll be directed to this screen. Here you need to select the correct network. If you click the Select Network, you will see these options. It's very important that you select BSC, which is BEP20 Network. Then you will see your BEP20 deposit address. Here I just covered my BEP20 address. You can click this button to copy the address. Then you can paste the address you just copied into this field. Now step 3. Determine if you need some Ethereum in your wallet to help transfer the stable coins in the future. Highly recommended for new users or new wallets. In our case, we are using USDTB, so we don't need to worry about having Ethereum in our wallet. Step 4. Submit your transaction to Paytree. This will lock in your price. So if I click Submit, the price will be locked. 
but I'm not going to do that right now. Step 5. Check your email inbox for a request money transfer email from Interact. I'll show you the screenshots of the emails I received from Paytree to show you that how much time it took to deposit Canadian dollars to Binance. After clicking Submit, I received this email from Paytree. It says, your Paytree transaction is pending. And soon after that, I received this request for money from Paytree. The next step is to follow the instructions in the email to fund the transaction with your bank account. So I followed the instructions and sent Canadian dollars by accepting that request for money. Next step is to wait for Paytree to accept the funds up to 60 minutes. You will get an email notification when Paytree accepts the fund. And then step 8, receive an email confirmation when the transaction is complete and the stable coins are in your wallet. So I've waited and I received this confirmation email. Patriot transaction is complete. And I saw that USDT was available in my Binance wallet. The entire process for deposit took about 35 minutes. My deposit is complete, so let's move on to withdrawal. I'm going to click the uh, Sell Stablecoins menu. The first step is to click the swap symbol in the middle of the widget to flip between buy and sell. So this is the swap symbol. Step 2. Enter the amount of stablecoins you want to sell and click swap. Let's say I want to withdraw 500 USDT B. Normally, I move more than 625 Canadian dollars for the reason I told you during the deposit process. But here, I'm just giving you an example. So I'll put 500 USDTB even though it's less than 625 Canadian dollars. Now, I'm going to click Swap. Again, my BEP20 deposit address is pre-populated. I just covered it with this gray box. Step 3. Copy and paste your Ethereum or stablecoin wallet address that you will be sending from into the provided input box. So this is the same Binance BEP20 deposit address that we got in deposit process. Step 4. Submit your transaction to Paytree. This will lock in your price. So if you click Submit button, the price will be locked. Again, I'll show you the screenshots of my emails that I received during a withdrawal process. After clicking the Submit button, I received an email from Paytree indicating my Paytree transaction is pending. So the next step is using the wallet currently holding the stable coins, send the specified amount to the address provided by Paytree. I'll show you how to send the stable coins from Binance to Paytree. You need to go to your fiat and spot wallet and locate USDT and then click withdraw button. Then you'll be directed to this screen. Here you need to send USDT to the address provided by Paytree. Because I've enabled the address book and whitelist, I need to select from my address book but you can copy the address provided by Paytree and just paste it here. For me, I selected the Paytree address in my address book. Now you need to enter the USDT amount you want to withdraw. If you enter the amount of 500, you will see the receive amount of $499.20. That's because Binance charges USDT network fee. In this case, it's 0.8 USDT. So if I want to send 500 USDT, I need to withdraw 500.8 USDT.
Now you can see that the receive amount is exactly 500 USDT. Then you click withdraw button. The next step is to wait for the stable coins to transfer. Paytree will send out an interact e-transfer to your email address within 60 minutes of the completed stable coin transfer. After withdrawing USDT from Binance, I received a confirmation email from Binance. It seems it took about 10 minutes, however, it took less than 10 minutes because I spent about 5 minutes to add the Paytree address in the whitelist in my Binance account. Two minutes later, I received a confirmation email from Paytree indicating my transaction is complete. Now I just need to wait for the Interact e-transfer from Paytree. The last step is to receive an email confirmation when the transaction is complete and the Interact has been sent. So I've got the email confirmation here and after some time, I received this Interact e-transfer from Paytree. It took around 30 minutes in this case. If you look at the timestamps in the emails, it took about 40 minutes for the withdrawal, but if I subtract 5 minutes that I spent to add Paytree address into the whitelist in my Binance account, the total duration of withdrawal is around 35 minutes. The withdrawal process took similar time to the deposit process. I've shown you how to deposit fund to Binance and withdraw from Binance using Paytree. If you'd like to sign up to Paytree, please use my referral link. If you do, I will receive trading credits in Paytree. The link can be found in the description below. Okay, that was how to transfer Canadian dollars to and from Binance using Paytree. If you have found this information useful, please help this channel grow by clicking the like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate your support. I also recommend checking out my other videos that may interest you. Thank you for watching.